Hi Covenant Kids. Welcome to another session in God's story. My name is Mrs. Jen and I'll be leading you today. First we're going to do our remember verse for the month of March and this comes from Philippians 4 verse 6. It reads, do not worry about anything but pray and ask God for everything you need and when you pray always give thanks. I bet the actions are pretty familiar to you by this time. Let's run through them quickly. Worry, pray, God, need, another pray, and thanks. Okay, let's stand up and say that all together. Are you ready? Do not worry about anything, but pray and ask God for everything you need. And when you pray, always give thanks. Philippians 4 verse 6. Good job. That's the last time I think we're going to be doing this verse because the next time we meet, it will already be a new month, April. Okay, let's listen to one song before we dive into our story for today. This is called We Believe. Jesus is the Son of God. We believe He came to save us on the cross. And there's a need for all the world to know His love. We believe that His love is big enough. Welcome back. Let's prepare our heads and our hearts and our hands to listen to God's story. Let's close our eyes and breathe in real deep. Breathe with me, in and out. In and out. I think we're ready to listen to God's story now. Let's take a look at the story symbol for today. Here we go. What clues do you see that might tell you which part of God's story we're gonna to listen to today? What do you see here? I'm not gonna talk about it all because I have a feeling you might have a very good idea already. Our story today comes from Matthew 27, verses 27 to 66, and Matthew 28, verses one to 10. The night of Jesus' arrest was a sad night. Jesus heard the angry crowd, crucify him, crucify him, they shouted. Pilate the ruler was puzzled. What crime has Jesus done? He asked the crowd. But the people just shouted louder, crucify him, crucify him. So Pilate's soldiers whipped Jesus and made fun of him. They put a crown of thorns, sharp thorns on Jesus' head and pretended to bow down to him. Jesus, King of the Jews, they teased. They spit on him and hit him on the head again and again. But Jesus stood quietly, waiting and hurting. 
Then the soldiers put a heavy cross on Jesus' back. When Jesus tried to walk, he stumbled and fell. Before they got very far, the soldiers found a strong man named Simon to carry the cross for Jesus. As you heard that part of the story, what did you wonder about? At the top of the hill, the soldiers nailed Jesus to the cross and pounded it into the ground. Everyone watched as the soldiers also nailed two robbers to crosses on each side of Jesus. People who passed by made fun of him. If you are the son of God, why don't you save yourself? They shouted. The nails hurt very much and so did the teasing. But Jesus didn't come down from the cross. He stayed on the cross for us. About noon, a very strange thing happened. The sun disappeared and the sky turned very dark, like it was night. What's happening? The people asked each other. It was frightening. For Jesus, it was frightening too. He cried out in a loud voice, my God, my God, why have you forgotten me? And then Jesus died. As you imagine what happened, what do you wonder about? Later that afternoon, Jesus' friend came and took Jesus' body down from the cross. He carefully wrapped it in clean cloths and placed it in the tomb cut out of a big rock. Then he rolled a huge stone in front of the tomb and left the garden. All was quiet and sad. It was over. Jesus was dead. But Jesus' enemies were worried. They thought that Jesus' friends might try to come and steal the body and tell everyone that Jesus was alive. So Pilate sent soldiers to guard Jesus' tomb. With guards watching day and night, Pilate was sure that it was over at last. Jesus was dead. What are you wondering about this story now? Very early, on Sunday morning, the ground began to rumble. It was another earthquake. Then a bright angel came down from heaven and rolled away that great big stone. The angel was as bright as lightning and its clothes were white as snow. The angel sat right on top of that giant stone. Oh my, the soldiers at the tomb were terrified. The earthquake, the angel, the open tomb, what was happening? The soldiers, the soldiers fell down and didn't move. As you imagine what happened, what do you wonder about? At that very moment, two of Jesus' friends were on their way to the tomb to put spices on Jesus' body. So many thoughts hurried through their minds. How can we possibly move that giant stone? What will we do if we can't move it? Were they ever surprised? When they came to the tomb, the stone was already rolled away. The tomb was open, and sitting on the stone was a bright angel. It was a terrifying sight. The women were frightened. Don't be afraid, the angel said kindly. I know that you're looking for Jesus, but he's not here. He's risen. He's alive. See for yourselves. Go tell his disciples too. The women looked at each other. How could that be? Was it true? The women were amazed. They hurried off to obey the angel and spread the news. It's wonderful, said Mary. Jesus is alive, alive. What do you think their faces looked like when the angel told them this news? Suddenly, there was Jesus. Mary Magdalene and Mary ran to him and fell down at his feet. All they could think of was Jesus. It was true. Jesus was alive. Jesus was standing right in front of them, talking to them, alive. Now, my friends, Jesus said, go and tell my disciples that I am alive. What an amazing thing. Jesus died, but Jesus now lives for us. It's true, all true. Imagine how Jesus' friends felt hearing and seeing that Jesus was alive. I wonder how you feel hearing that Jesus is alive again. Let's end our story with a litany. 
what that means is that I'm going to read something and then you're going to respond with a phrase and it is hallelujah, praise the Lord. When we say hallelujah, praise the Lord, let's raise our hands and wave them back and forth, okay? Okay, I'm going to start. Actually, we're going to start together. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Jesus is alive. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Easter is a time of joy. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Jesus lives for you and me. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Let's end that litany with a prayer. Let's fold our hands, bow our heads, and let's talk to God. Dear Jesus, we love you. We praise you. We celebrate you. You are our risen, living Lord. Amen. For the last couple of weeks, we've been talking a little bit about symbols. We talked about a flower that could be a symbol for the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus was very sad and he was praying to God. We also talked about a feather that could be symbolic of the rooster that crowed three times after Peter denied Jesus. What are some other symbols that we can think of about Easter? Perhaps a nail that was pounded into Jesus to hang in from the cross. How about a large stone to symbolize the stone that was rolled in front of the tomb and then away from the tomb? Symbols help us remember events. What are some other symbols that we can think of that tell us about Easter? The very obvious one is the cross, right? Yeah. What about a cloth to, that was wrapped, that wrapped up Jesus' body or the cloth that uh, Pilate washed his hands from and then dried his hands? Can you think of any more symbols? I'd love to hear them. Let's take a look at our story symbol again. I see the tomb and I see the big stone rolled away. When you saw this symbol, did you think we were talking about the resurrection of Jesus? Jesus died and Jesus lives. Now you can dive in a little bit deeper with God's story cards. This is number 134, also on the website. And I've gotten the color yellow. And I'm going to pray a certain prayer. What color do you think you're going to get? There is also an easy extra that's on the website and that's to make a butterfly. Henry has started this butterfly. He's done a pretty good job, hasn't he? We're gonna put some antenna on here and then we're gonna hang it in our house where we can see it fluttering all around. Why do you think we would make a butterfly? Butterfly is a pretty good symbol of springtime and spring reminds us of new life. And then we can think of our forever life with Jesus. We've got one more song for you today. And this song is called Christ Arose. Have a wonderful Easter, and don't forget that Jesus is the reason for Easter. Jesus is the reason that we get to live forever with him in heaven. Have a great week. Up from the grave